Hey guys, I'm Simon, and uh, welcome back to uh, an architectural tour of Half-Life 2. If you remember, in the last video, we destroyed the helicopter, and we came down the... Well, we came through there, over the dam. That dam is really very small. But anyway, that, that's the you know, computer game thing again. Everything's smaller than in real life. So after the excitement of, of that boss fight, now we get some downtime, I guess. To relax. Huh. I guess that's supposed to be the... the actual... power station. Or, the, or it could be like a substation for the electricity. It doesn't... Well, for one, it, it's really far away from the actual dam. I mean, it's plausible. It could be that, you know, the water comes down back there instead of from the dam, but... You know, again, it's very small. Like, in order to get the water to drive the turbines, they need to fall down quite a long distance in order to, you know, pick up enough energy to push the turbine and all that. So, yeah, it, it's too small, but... Aside from that, all the bits are there, just at a smaller scale. Now... That's a um, river, I guess? Or the river is supposed to continue that way. Alright, well, let's get off the boat. A lot of power. And I guess this explains the... the ability of... Eli Vance to, to do his... teleportation experiments as well, because there's, you know, plenty of electricity for him to use. Hmm... not much to say here. Fairly really utilitarian and plain. Big concrete buildings. Oh. How did this get here? You know, it's a trailer. But there's no road. So, uh, maybe he got dropped off by a boat, I don't know. Anyway. This entrance is... It seems slightly strange to me. But it does go... You know, we're going underground, I guess. And the base is in the ground. Danger, contaminant. Why would there be nuclear contamination in an hydroelectric power plant? Not a nuclear plant. Anyway, who knows? We've got something. Okay, it's it's human. Hello. Hello. Take it easy in there. You're safe now. You'll have to forgive the scanning process. We can't take any chances. Dr. Freeman? Gordon Freeman? Is that you? You've made it here this quickly while well, Eli is going to be amazed, not to mention relieved. I'm Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Kleiner when they are at the top of their field. Ah, there we go. You can come through now. Okay. So basically, it makes you stand here while she talks to you and tell you a bit about herself and the story. I'll take you down to Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. Okay. Hi. Good to know you. Yes. You don't know anything about me. 
things would go so much faster if we had more people with your training. Ah, oh, damn it. We're closing in on the anyway, reliable I hope local. There wasn't training. anything important out there. Something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks oh, their look. portals are string based. Similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they fail to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement. So. <laughs> hmm. Listen to me, I sound like a postdoc. I, I, I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Are we done? Okay. I guess it's like a huge underground facility of some sort. Although, what it was used for f before they repurposed it this for way, Dr. Freeman. the resistance, I wouldn't know. Oh, yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined the Black News. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis. Effectively, Kitchen? a dimensional slingshot. Funny. So we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through. So oh, the facility is now. huge, right? All right good. That's like four up. levels down. Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Let me get a look at you, man. Stop me. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Okay. Feel free to look around. So, this is kind of unique in, in this game. Feel free to look around, you just... All of a sudden you don't have anything to do. Whereas, you know, just a few moments earlier... You were fighting helicopters and then everything. And now Green. He's the administrator of this whole vile business now. He ended the Seven Hours War by managing Earth's surrender. The Combine rewarded him with power. So yeah, all of a sudden you don't have anything to do. We've almost got that portal working again. But I wouldn't blame you if you didn't volunteer for the next trial run. And this is downtime, you know, after the boss you fight. My wife Ozzy, and don't you? That picture and Alex were all I managed to carry out of Black Mesa. So again with the old, oh, you know, with the rough the said aesthetic. I can't believe he made it so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle, with the possible exception of you. Dad, please. Uh. <laughs> Take a look at this, Gordon. Toys. It doesn't actually do anything. You are supposed to be a MIT graduate. PhD in theoretical physics, I think it was. It, at the start of Half-Life 1, they, they tell you. relieve me so I could come see Gordon. 
Anyway, I should be in here, working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time, as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex, why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Come on, Gordon. Let's go have some fun. The zero-point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Ugh, let's get out of here. Yo, damn! So I see you've met Dr. Mossman. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking to uh, you. I guess that's air conditioning equipment. More stairs. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. Oh, we don't. We, we don't go there, do we? We don't. I see. We don't go to Ravenholm. Tunnels. Interesting hatch. Ravenholm tunnels. You know, even though as we were coming down the elevator, we saw like four levels.